Every single year, around 370 million tons of plastics are produced worldwide. That's the equivalent weight of 2 million jumbo jets, and consumption is expected to triple by 2050. Plastics are used in a vast number of applications, from packaging to cars, planes to buildings, healthcare equipment to furniture and electronics, to name but a few. But plastics have a problem. In fact, they have two. Where they start and where they end up. So where do plastics come from? Over 90% of all plastics are made from fossil resources like oil and gas, while plastics made from recycled material account for only about 8% and plastics made of renewable materials a mere 1.5%. Every day, a staggering 9 million barrels of oil are used to produce plastics. And if we continue business as usual, this number is projected to increase to 23 million barrels per day by 2060. Not only does this reliance on fossil raw material lead to substantial carbon emissions, it also depletes our natural resources. Now let's explore the second problem with plastics, where they end up when we dispose of them. A staggering 8.3 billion tonnes of plastic has been manufactured to date. Of this, about 76% has already become waste. What's more, only 9% of the plastic we produce today is being recycled. It's clear that we need to take steps to solve both of these plastic problems fast. We need to collect all plastic waste. As much of this plastic waste as possible must be recycled and turned into a valuable resource. This resource can then be used to keep pace with the growing demand for plastics. But to do this, without increasing our reliance on fossil sources, we will also need renewable raw materials to make up the difference. It's clear that individual solutions just won't suffice. But if we harmonise all solutions to work together in concert, we can ensure a sustainable future for plastics.